Kenya Copyright Board, KKOBO, is intensifying its scrutiny of the Music Copyright Society of Kenya, citing alleged mismanagement of artists' royalties. Now, KKOBO chairperson Joshua Katoon is now calling on the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to investigate the significant disparity between the amounts collected and the funds disbursed to artists nationwide. Let's get more from our very own Jasmine Wamboy. According to the Kenya Copyright Board, artists should have received six times more than they did in 2023. This assertion hinges on allegations that the three collective management organizations, that is the Music Copyright Society of Kenya, the Performers' Rights Society of Kenya, and the Kenya Association of Music Producers, collectively misappropriated the sum of 249 million shillings. Ruben Kikame was paid 122,410. Ruben Kigame was supposed to be paid 734,000. <laughs> Otile Brown, who was paid 120,000, should have been paid 720,000. Where is 500,000 for Otile Brown? Marakwe's daughter, she's called Millicent Chipkori, a.k.a. A a a Marakwe's daughter with a hustle, Mali Safi, was paid 108,000. Upon our own internal analysis, she was supposed to be paid 640,000. Kekobo also criticized what he deemed as exorbitant salaries and allowances for officials at MCSK to the detriment of artists. A CEO earning 1.3 million. In a year, a CEO should be ashamed of earning 14 million and distributing 7 million to the artist. A board that earns the entire board in a year of MCSK gets over 14 million in allowances only to distribute 7 million. However, in his own defense, MCSK CEO Ezekiel Mutua says it was in fact Kutuni who wanted to misappropriate artist monies by demanding a bribe. Let now the chips fall where they may. And I will look at the camera. That day when we were there in that meeting, they were asking for money, cash. So I asked them from where? When we announced we have 20 million, we stayed in the boardroom for two hours. At the story, Nipezangapi uh, at shameless people holding public office, stinging to the core. And now they turn the guns on us. The regulatory body now says it will ensure that the collection of revenues is done through a citizen, even as it seeks to review the licenses of the three collective management organizations. Part of the records that we are tabling here today is part of the document that is required for you to either get a license or not. So we will be reviewing also the license. However, Mutua argues that this constitutes interference with the affairs of a private entity. A private company has its own rules and regulations. As a public body, you don't come in. You cannot do that. In any case, when I look at the, the dailies today, the headlines about misappropriation in government bodies, what have they done about it? And as the bulls continue butting heads, artists will continue to suffer mega quarterly payouts, if any. Jasmine Wamboi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.